my name is Deb Ingersoll and I am a lead teacher over at Archway Trivium West. I'm Jamie Bennett, Dean of Academics at Archway Trivium East. Simple Mathematics not only teaches the how, but the why. For typical American curriculum, the teacher is the one that's teaching the information. With Singapore, it's more of a student application. The teacher, I like to say, is more of the coach in the classroom. So we help our students and we allow our students to really explore the problem. I love math because there's so many different ways to solve equations. Long division can be really difficult for students. So I wanted to show an example of how uh, this would be taught in the classroom. If we were using just an American curriculum, we'd probably just be taught the procedural understanding. And there is no conceptual understanding behind that. Yes, the procedural understanding and using the algorithm is important, but they also need to have that conceptual understanding of what's really happening. We would start maybe with something like this. They would have base 10 blocks. They actually have a manipulative that they can hold and use to solve a problem. And you can write 400s, 110, and 11, you know that makes 411. And we know we're going to try to divide that into three groups. The goal is to develop students who not only are capable of solving computational problems, but who also truly understand computation and can apply this mathematical thinking and learning to a new situation. We also want them to use that same strategy with all the other subjects. So instead of just teaching them two plus three equals five, we're starting with the concrete and they're able to see that. And then we can get to the abstract with the actual numbers. And this tool in the middle is a number bond. Number bonds are made up of parts and a whole. I would like you to make a 10. Alright, so what she did was she went ahead and said one part of the equation is represented by her number one, but then she decided, okay, I'm instead of saying five plus five is ten, she went and said five plus five is the same as they are what we call making 10 in this problem. So if they have that foundation and they have those math facts, they can break 5 into 2 and 3. Because they know that if I take 2 from 5, I will make 50. And I would rather add 50 and 3 in my head than I would add 48 and 5. We as Great Hearts, we've actually supplemented the math facts. We place an emphasis on math facts. Here we say um, in first grade, mastery of addition and subtraction math facts. They are ma mastering their math facts through 10, up to 10. Second grade, um, again with addition and uh, subtraction, they um, will be mastering their math facts through 20. And third grade, of course, they do both multiplication and division. I know fourth grade and fifth grade. And we do that so early in the archway years because by the time they get to fourth grade and they come to fifth grade, they are doing complicated mathematics, as you can see. If they know their math facts, they're not wasting time trying to figure out the basics. They can now solve that problem immediately and then work on the actual math problem itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks. Some of the blocks were taken away and you were left with four blocks. How many blocks were taken away?
challenging in third grade. A lot harder. That's why I just love math so, so much. Instead of writing 13 times 24, 24 times 13, this is what I'm representing. I will multiply my tens by tens, my ones by ones. So we'll add 200 plus 40 plus 60 and plus 12. And 72 is actually what I did. I multiplied 24 by 3. So what am I multiplying by now? You're multiplying by 10. <coughs> by 10! Am I multiplying by 1? No. No, I'm multiplying by 10 because 13 is what? 10 plus 3. Now I'm actually multiplying by 10, not by 1. And we know when we multiply by 10, we do what? We add a zero. thing in Trivium is math because there's things you have to solve. 